everyone. I wanted to bring to you a review of some products that I am trying or have tried. Um, and I wanted to share it with you all because I was looking for a comparison of these products online and I could not find it. I could find reviews of people saying that I'm using this product or this one and it's wonderful, but I wanted to see for myself what all of them would look like side by side. And um, just searching the internet, there is a lot to do on this General Finishes Gel Stain in the color Java. This is not as easy to find as these others on um, the larger brand names. You can find these more readily at stores um, where you live. Although you can find the Java Gel Stain online at Walmart, as well as I found it at Amazon, and of course, General Finishes website, and I believe Sears. So I was thinking that would be way too much for me to have to go through the whole process of ordering and having to wait for it to come in the mail. I have such a hard time with waiting for things. So I actually found um, a retailer that sold this product and I drove out to get it, but not after, not before, sorry, trying these products here. So one thing I want to um, speak on really quickly is in my husband's process of stripping this table, he used this citrus strip product it was excellent you put it on you wait about uh, 30 to 45 minutes and you just take a scraper which we used we had a metal scraper here on the not a metal but a um, plastic scraper there that he used and he was able to scoop it right off of the table the finish on the table smooth as butter now since him that he removed that I did use large areas of the table as sample areas to test different colors out, which is not a good idea, but because I had, I can't wait, I had to apply different colors and not try to remove them again with a citrus strip and it didn't come off as easily, but that's a whole different story. But anyway, that's not the reason we're here. The reason we're here is because I wanted to know what the difference would be in these different products. Did I really need to go out and find this Java stain if um, there were these others that were, I'm sure, equivalent. These are some big brand name companies, this Rust-Oleum and Minwax, they're, you know, most popular. So um, after trying these two colors here, the Minwax and Rust-Oleum, I had to drive out to a location to purchase this, which was almost an hour from where I lived. But after looking at the consistency, I'm not so disappointed that I did. But I wanted to share with you what the consistencies were and what my experience was. So the first product that I used, again, was this gel stain made by Minwax in the color Walnut. And this is a small container. This is a disposable spoon. This is a small container. I stare at this and stare at this for over four minutes. And the consistency is looks like curdled. <laughs> I'm not going to say curdled. I'm going to say it looks like cottage cheese. I mean, I stared and I'm thinking, what in the world kind of mess is that? So anyway, I'm thinking maybe that's just how the general finishes consistency is as well. Um, because people are speaking that the general finishes product was like pudding or gel. It was so smooth. And then I'm thinking, well, I mean, I did stare for quite a long time. And I mean, it's, I mean, it's smooth, but ugh. I don't know. Anyway, so after trying this one, I want to compare it next to this Rust-Oleum Kona color to see you know, what the difference in the shades would be and the application. So the Rust-Oleum um, is not in, a, not in a gel form. It's more in a traditional liquid stain form. So then that's the color. So it's a, you know, it's like a, dark chocolate color, I think. But when it's applied to the table, it has this really pretty um, red undertone, which I thought was very pretty. And the Minwax Walnut, it's a beautiful walnut color. I really love it. Um, that's really pretty too. And then this Java, it's a nice color. It's darker than all of them. So if you look at this one, it's a really dark, dark chocolate compared to this walnut, of course, which is more reddish brown. 
and then this Kona, which is kind of a dark mahogany chocolate, is what how I'm comparing it. But I wanted to show you the consistency of this um, General Finishes product. People who were um, sampling this uh, on the internet said it was like pudding, and I'm like, yeah, okay. After watching this one, right? <laughs> it truly, I promise to you, is just like chocolate. I don't like chocolate pudding or ice cream, but for some odd reason, I was thinking, oh, that looks so yummy. It really does look like chocolate pudding. And the consistency is here. Um, I'm trying to make sure I can see it. The consistency here is what it looks like when I try to place it there on the paper. So um, I don't really have a lot of time or space actually on the table to try to show you guys what the consistency or how it goes on. I'm gonna to try to do this really quickly. So if I took some of this General Finishes Java and I put it on the table, I mean, it went on just like that. And I mean, I wiped it off and it really, what most people have reviewed it, it really did perform as people said it did. And I was so impressed, especially after staring this product here and putting it on the table and it didn't actually perform at all like this General Finishes product. So again, it's a really chunky, like cottage cheese consistency. So when I put this gel stain on, I'm gonna put a little bit more because this one is not at all, it does not perform at all like the, um, the General Finishes product, it does not. So when you put it on, I'm gonna to try to find a clean area to try to wipe it back off. It doesn't go on as thick and heavy. And I'm gonna just try it again because sometimes I always think, they didn't put the same amount on. So I'm gonna put almost the same exact amount if I could on here. And then I'm going to just wipe it back off and see. And you see the difference. So this right here was after I applied a ton of it and barely wiped it off, but that's what you're gonna get after the first round using that. And um, for the last one, I'm going to show you with the Rust-Oleum Kona color, what my experience was. So here is the table, the wood, and you put it on. Um, I'm gonna try to be fair with this. And I did let this sit on probably 15 minutes, not 15 minutes, maybe eight to 10 minutes on to get that color. And I did apply a little bit more over top of that. But after I'm um, applying this one, and, and I don't have time to wait 10 minutes now, but let me just show you the first swipe of this, what I did get. So with my first swipe, only just a few seconds, this is what the Kona looks like after a few moments. Here is what it looks like after I let it sit for eight to 10 minutes. And again, this is what I got out of the walnut color after letting it sit for a few seconds. And this is the color that I got after applying the Java gel stain. Anyway, I wanted you all to be able to see for yourself because I was really curious and I was like, is it all the hype? And it truly was. Um, it's a great product. And I think I paid 30, 32 or $33 for this, where this one right here was um, like 8 or $9. And this was almost $5. So I just want to kind of give you all a comparison just so you can see for yourself if you were so interested in knowing how these products were going to perform for yourself because... I know that I was curious and I was unable myself to find any review out there. So I wanted to save someone else the time and hassle um, having to go out to find these products. So I kind of wanted to share what my experience was. Anyway, um, my husband has to sand this all back down again. And, um, and then he's able to finish the table. But I'll show you the guys at some other point whenever that gets done, um, what the finished product will look like. But in the meanwhile, I hope that you enjoyed the review. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.